Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for Sunday the 3rd of June 2018. Watchman on the Wall, William from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I hope all of you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. And today it uh, is another beautiful Sunday here in Calgary. And I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful Sunday and today I wanted to come on here and just share some of my thoughts, um, some things that uh, have kind of piqued my curiosity and um, wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know if you remember that I had a dream about the rapture through a video game and how the Lord was... Uh, showing me in this dream that I was progressing very well in this video game. And then all of a sudden, uh, it said Rapture on the TV screen. And the game ended. And that was part of the humor of the game, in that it could happen anytime. Um, and so, that was a huge dream for me and also uh, after I had the dream I got up and went to the bathroom and when I uh, went back to bed before I fell asleep I had a vision of a door my bedroom door being opened and this light coming through and so I know the Lord was referencing the Church of Philadelphia with that uh, image that very, very clear image. But uh, back to the video game thing. I uh, used to love playing a game called Fallout. And just recently there was a announcement trailer for a game called Fallout 76. And, uh, you know, honestly, if I had a PlayStation 4... I probably would buy this game. I don't even know what it's about. But what caught my attention uh, about it is that how the Lord gave me the dream about the video game reference. And in this video game trailer, uh, they talk about, uh, well, they don't talk about it. They have a picture, a poster in the background, and it says Reclamation Day. And so... I guess the premise is that these people were trapped in this vault, this underground vault, and they're coming back to reclaim the earth, to reclaim America. And um, I love how the Lord will give us dreams and foreshadow things. And I just see this as another sign of our reclaiming of this earth is coming soon that all of us you know we're not uh, we're not going to be hiding in any caves and being underground or anything like that and reclaiming the earth we're going to be reclaiming the earth with the Lord and our reclamation day is when we reclaim our bodies our glorified bodies when we reclaim who we are, our true um, selves that the Lord created um, and with His blood has redeemed us. I truly see that Reclamation, uh, Reclamation Day poster in this video game trailer so uh such a perfect wink from the lord and uh and it's just it's amazing how the lord will talk to us if we really pay attention and listen you know and you know he talks to us all the time every day and i bet you there's probably a hundred things in our day that we miss 
you know, that the Lord's talking to us through a situation or through anything, but we're not paying attention because a lot of us are in the flesh. And I don't mean being sinful. I just mean, you know, cognizant of this reality of this this fleshly existence that we this is all that we know as people you know is everything that we've ever seen touched smelt taste um so when i say in the flesh that's what i mean and um but i just wanted to share that with you i thought that was so encouraging and the lord is telling us and letting us know that our reclamation day is coming we're going to get our new bodies our glorified bodies and we are going to reclaim this earth and and rule and reign with the lord and it's exciting to see that and it's exciting to see how even in the times when we think the lord isn't talking to us he is and I know a lot of us may be feeling that we aren't getting a lot of dreams and visions uh, lately. Uh, and then I'm just speaking for myself, but I've I've seen uh, others of you saying that it has been pretty quiet lately. And um, but I think that we really. We really got spoiled in 2017 when it comes to dreams and visions and so many people um, having so much and that it just seems, maybe it seems that it's quiet because the, uh, the level of intensity as far as the community has, has gone down. And uh, I pray that people are are staying strong in the Lord and, and doing all they can to stand. And even if that's praying every day and just, uh, just letting God know you're thankful for everything that's in your life, thankful for the people in your life, thankful for any possible situation that the Lord has helped you out of. Uh, I'm still a, a huge supporter of the book of remembrance and writing down all the things that the Lord has got you through and know that he'll get you through anything in life. It just may not come out the way that you expect. Our, our fleshly minds um, are very limited in our options and how to resolve situations and the Lord knows better how things are to work out and you know, it's all about putting your trust in the Lord, putting your whole heart and all of your trust in Him, and and then feeling that peace, you know. Um, the Lord, His will is that none of us perish, none of us are separated from Him. So just keep praying for your lost loved ones. Be anxious for nothing. And know that you are safe in his hands and the Lord is not going to lose not one. All that the Father gives, he will keep. And, um, you know, we must always remember that when Satan's trying to um, make us feel unworthy and unloved. And, and uh, the truth of the matter is, is <clears throat> we are loved. Truth of the matter is, is we are unworthy. But the truth of the matter is, is that Jesus made us worthy for all things. Because we can do all things in Christ who strengthens us, not some, all. And we have to take God at his word and have faith. Because sometimes we don't believe it and... We don't receive the blessings because of our lack of belief, our lack of faith. You know, so many times 
you see Israel lose the blessing or have it postponed because of disbelief. And so um, let's claim what the Lord has given us. Let's be confident in the Lord. Let's not um, let's not just focus on what our eyes see. We're um, we're the spiritual family. We are more than this flesh, and uh, we are temples of the living God, and He dwells in us. And we're very spoiled, <laughs> you know. And sometimes we don't see that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Encourage you, strengthen you. Let you know that the Lord is always speaking to us. Pay it, Just pay attention to the spiritual side of things. And you'll see when He speaks. And that He loves us with a love that is not of this world that we can't understand. But um, we will one day when we are with Him. And that is any day. So I love you guys. I'm going to have other videos out for you uh, more regularly, and hopefully I will have this uh, video I've been working on for a while up soon that has been giving me some problems, um, but when it's up, it will be, uh, it'll be awesome. So, thank you guys again for uh, hanging out with me for any of your comments prayers you guys are awesome i thank you from the bottom of my heart i can't uh, tell you guys how much that helps me to keep going and to know that i have a spiritual family that truly cares and um no matter where we are no matter what our situation physical limitations uh, we're all together, we're all one in Christ, we're one family, and we look out for each other, and that's what I love so much about every single one of you that come here and, and share your hearts and time. So, that's all for today. I love you guys. If I don't see you in the clouds tonight, I'll have another message for you very soon. Peace be with you.